Hey guys, it's been a while. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't made a video in over four years, but I'm back, randomly. <laughs> uh, life's been busy, but I have a little more free time now. Uh, not in school this semester, taking a gap, gap semester, some time to consider what to do next in terms of school. Um, and so I have a little bit of time, and here we go. Minnesota Wild, NHL 18, be a GM mode, episode one of the series. Um, so I've been messing around in this. I tried to find a trade that would be good. Uh, nothing has really come up yet, though. Um, so I got Koivu a first and Parise on the block. Now, my thinking for this is because taking a look at the roster. By the way, these rosters are from October 31st. I want something that would be close to like the start of the season not necessarily the very beginning of the season because um those like rosters I, I i like how you know they fluctuate the ratings um as the season goes on so it's like the beginning of the the season but with like a month or a little bit less under the players belts to kind of flush out what uh, if the rating should be a little higher a little lower um Nothing's ever perfect in this game as far as ratings, at least in my opinion. But anyway, yeah, so Parise, awful contract, eight years. If you want to look at the details there, eight years left on that. Don't have much going at the left wing. You can check in the system. Not going too good. At center... I think Koivu's the odd man out. He has one year left on a $6 million contract, so he's going to want to re-sign. I like Stahl's contract a lot. Two more years at 3.4. Solid solid third-line contract. So I think Coil is more of the third-liner. So that's a really solid second-line contract. Not really the best third-line contract, I suppose. $3 million is pretty solid for a third-liner. I guess they're both... Like, Stahl's, like, on the, uh, like, way upside of third line. Coils around, like, the upside, um, the upper tier. In terms of contracts, Granlund going to be our first liner. But, yeah, Koivu, one year remaining on this contract, so that's why I want to get rid of him. Cullen can come in as a fourth liner if needed. We also have Erickson Eck here, who I'd like to get some time in. Um... I've tried throwing him into some trades with a first round pick, uh, Koivu and um, and Parise. Nothing came of that though. I spent about twenty minutes recording a video of me just trying to make trades and nothing coming around. So I decided, let's not upload that. Need a writer I like. I want him to be a second liner though. I don't really want him to be on the first line right now. Um, so we need a right winger. We need a left winger. Defense looks solid. Suter's contract sucks. But other than that, defense is pretty solid. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe use a little bit of depth in defense eventually. And of course, we got Dubnik and Stilock. I want to see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Okay. <coughs> um, so I think I'm just going to start simming. Let's look at our lines now. I'm going to start simming, make some trades during the season. Actually, that's not bad. Having Koibu there. I g this is just kind of what we're going to go with for now. Kind of. Because this is what I picture being the first line at the start. Like with Parise. Um, Koivu. I was going to throw him like on a center. I think. So we have two options here. We could do something that looks like this. Right, but I kind of want Ek in, so we take him out for Ek. 
I think that. So it weakens the second line without a Kweebu there, but what we do have is an 84 or more overall on every line. As far as defense, yeah, this is what I was picturing. So yeah, I think this is what we'll run with for now. Uh, and the idea is to make a trade pretty quickly. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to sim, well, we'll sim the preseason, obviously, but we're going to sim the season. Um, and in the playoffs, sometimes I like to play the playoff games. So that's how I've done it in the past anyway. So we'll see if I do that again. Depends on how much time I have and stuff. View owner goals. As a contender, I fully expect us to make the playoffs. Once we make the playoffs, anything can happen. That's about what my expectation is, too. Expectation is to definitely make the playoffs. Um, I mean, goal eventually is to get cup, obviously, but we want to, we need to make the playoffs, I would say. Uh, primary goal is to be a serious contender. I want us to improve our top six forward group. I also want that. That's kind of my goal, um, for this season. Those are my two goals, really, and it's my owner's goal, so that is really good that <laughs> they check out. Because I guess this got 90% of available suites this year. Uh, I want us to boost our team chemistry. Yada, yada, yada. We'll see if that happens. But those two goals there that the owner has for us, I fully agree with. Let's allocate the budget. Um, we're going to max out. Oh, we can't max out. All right, that's fine. We're just going to go as up as we can on the arena operations. Because that stuff can get annoying. Let's auto assign promotion nights. Not too concerned about attendance. So yeah, why the wild, you may ask. Well, if you viewed any of my videos in the past, uh, you'll see that uh, a lot of my GM mode videos are have been the wild. Um, and... You know, I did that as my, like, first one way back. I think it was, like, NHL 12 that I started doing videos. Um, and, yeah, so since then they've become, I wouldn't say my favorite team. I'm a really big Bruins fan, but uh, probably my favorite team in the, like, Western Conference. Um, so, yeah, let's start simming. We'll sim to, let's sim, like, month by month. Why are you freezing up on me? I don't know why this is freezing up on me. Did I hit sim? Oh, okay. I hit the freaking right stick and it took that long to... No. Alright, well let's see if we have a way out of this. Okay, well that was weird. Let's sim to the first of this month. Um, I don't know what just happened there, but I'm glad I fixed it and did not need to restart recording. Grand Lane, there are times that I don't want to walk into that locker room. Thanks for the input, but I'm happy the group we have here. I hear a lot of feedback like yours and contemplating some changes. We know how uh, motivate. If you want change, become a role model in the locker room. I like that one, although we're... Uh, I'll do the calming one because we are trying to make changes. Yes, and he liked that. Good. So that paid off. I was between that one and the... Uh, what was it? Assertive one? Yeah. So first game of the season is a 3-1 win. Love to see it. An 8-1 loss to Carolina. Oh my god. That's brutal. <laughs> uh, we're just going to scout forwards the first time around. So forward group needs a little bit of work. Um, I haven't really taken a full look at our prospect pool, but our team itself needs some better forwards, so why not start there? She did this year's draft class, uh, draft class briefly. 
I've reviewed this year's draft class briefly. Jesus, I thought I was saying I've received this year's draft class briefing. But in general, I feel it will be a good year for rookies. So that is good to hear. I kind of want to hold on to this year's draft pick, which is why the 2019 one is up for grabs on our... Uh, on our... The trading block with Suter is injured, which is what distracted me. He'll be back November 2nd. I hate injuries in this game. They're so random and so awfully done. So we'll snag Rodine for this. Substitute. Now Rodine's on two lines, so we need Olufsen. Oh, yeah, I messed that up. Um, options, let's just do best lines. Oh, yeah, because we have the forward lines as... Um, no, we don't. So let's go back and switch that around. Boom. 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 And we throw Eck in there. All right, this is going to be what we have to do while we get a bunch of injuries is that little maneuver we just pulled. Best lines and then that. All right. Colorado Avalanche fourth for Sokolov and Minnesota Riles. What what kind of trade is that? Um, amateur scout. Just kind of combing across North America right now for the forwards. Because it's hard to remember exactly where and who you have scouted. All right, so after the month of Ryan Suter is available to play in the Sheem's next game. Let's just do that maneuver. Best lines. You go there. You go there. You go there. You go. Up. No, you go there. You go there. And then we sub in Eck. Erickson Eck. E-E-J-E-E. -E Even he gets injured, like, what, in practice? We haven't even sim next game yet, dude. Best lines. Pull the maneuver. And I'm going to be reviewing and possibly changing these lines soon, too. In fact, we're going to look at the stats real quick. Um... Koivu, our point leader with nine points, and that's who we're considering trading, which is great. Um, Granlin is up there to Coyle. See, Coyle on the fourth line is doing solid. Eck is up there too, so these lines are, are working out. Minus two, minus four, minus three, minus four, minus eight. Spurgeon not looking good there. Um... See, like, the fourth line is producing. Stewart is on the fourth line and is producing. Erickson Eck is on the third line producing. Coyle on the fourth line producing. Koivu on the third line producing. So it's pretty well-rounded, which is what I'm looking for. I need, we need Nita Rider to step it up. But, yeah, no, I'm, I'm liking that. Um, I'm liking that so far. So we're going to keep these rosters going, this, uh, this line going, as well as the sim going. And let's see, we are 5-3-2, not too shabby. Let's simulate the month of November. 6 nothing win. Good to see a 5-2 win. Um, let's go to America. America. Uh, forwards two weeks. My Bruins. Maybe we have trade here. Sokolov, round four. Hmm. Let's edit this trade and take a look at Sokolov. Because I did not know a lot about him. Looks like he's going to be a low top nine forward, so I'm definitely willing to make this trade, especially because, I mean, we're giving up a fifth, but then we get Buffalo's fifth and Buffalo's fourth, so I'm going to take that. Um, 
on a little bit of a winning streak here. You're back, suitor. Let's not ruin things here. Let's not have you injured again without even playing a game. That was strange. I mean, unless I missed that we had already simmed that game, but I don't believe we did. Um, team's not doing too bad. 7-1 win against Philly. We got another one against Philly coming up. Um, I don't need this. Maybe I jinx this because now we're going on a little bit of a losing streak. It's not what I like to see. Okay, so we're going to have to remember. We, uh, yeah, we'll go Dell first. And then I'm going to go down and up. So priority is coast to coast uh, is first and then north to south. That's kind of how I'm doing the simming, uh, not the simming, the prospect scouting. Matt Dumma is injured with a broken leg. Oh, you're killing me. Killing me, schmalls. Um, so let's throw Ek in. That little maneuver. Getting really quick at that, huh? It's kind of becoming muscle memory now. And can we beat Vegas? Dominic has an MCL sprain. He will return in January. God, be kidding me. See, this is why I hate the whole... Um... Injury crap. Because the injuries are so dang random. And it just doesn't... Like, I got people are going to get injured. Like, that's totally realistic that Dubnik could have gotten an injury. But it's done at random, so it's not realistic, you know? Um, that's what I'm trying to say. We haven't really had a forward injury. Let's take a look at the defense. And let's take a look at da, 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 goalies. <laughs> oh my god, that's dreadful. Uh, that can be best lines. Alright, let's take a look at what we got going here. So Granlin is now the point leader, which is what we want to see. Uh, franchise player. Then we got Parise, Niederreiter stepped it up, which is good to see. Coyle still up there on the fourth line, doing work. Koivu on the third line, Ek on the third line, liking what I'm seeing. He's already up to a 78 overall. He started at a 77. Stahl's doing all right on the second line. I would move Koivu up the way he's playing, but he's... That's exactly why I'm not, also, because he's playing so good on the third line with Eck. Eck is really capitalizing on that. Stewart on the fourth line with 12 points. Spurgeon still a minus 8, but has 10 points. Granlin's a minus 10. is a minus 12. And New Radage a minus 12. Those aren't good to see. I mean, Stewart's a 7. Coyle's a plus 4. Erickson Eck at 0. Koivu only minus 1. Bardeen's taking a lot of penalties. I think we'll sim at least one more month now in this video. Um, and I think we're looking at making trades at the trade deadline. Let's look at the standings. We're second in the Central Division. How about it? How about it? I mean, a lot of these guys have less games played, and they're only two points back, so that plays a big factor. Oh, wait, no, no. It's only Colorado. Oh, let's check out the Pacific. San Jose winning that right now. Coyotes up there, though. 
Um, let's take a look at the Atlantic. Tampa Bay, Ottawa, Boston, Metropolitan, Pittsburgh, Washington, Columbus. Things are looking pretty much as you'd expect, except for, I mean, we're doing really good here. Doing good here, folks. And Vegas is down there. Uh, except for, you know, Coyotes and Oilers, which in the real world have not, <laughs> we're not here. Um... So that's a little unexpected, you know, the Pacific Division. Everything else, though, seems pretty much on par with what you would expect. So, yeah, we'll sim one more season. We'll get to or one more season, one more month. We'll get to January. That's Luke Coonan of Iowa. So that's why I did the best lines there. Okay, so we done Dell. Let's snag the National League. This way, we I'm basically I'm gonna come through and do forwards. Again. I'm gonna come through and do defense, and then I'll come through and do goalies. Um, at least like the one for goalies. At least the ones that have a lot. Ooh. Oh. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. I mean, that helps bolster us, but that's bringing us really close to the cap. Don't really like that. Not really worth it for a guy who's going to play on the bottom. The bottom pairing, uh, bringing our cap to that. Uh, X been injured with a sore foot. Come on, this is hockey. People <laughs> don't sit out for that. All right, so we're going to... Um, ba -ba -ba. A little different maneuver there. Um, yeah, we'll do this. That second line isn't doing too much, though. That's really what needs help right now. So maybe we just need to bring in a second liner. And I'm not thinking of trading Koivu right now. I'm thinking of keeping Koivu and seeing what we can do with his contract next season. Um, yeah, no, that trade was offered earlier or something similar. Spurgeon is injured, so we're gonna do the whole the whole thing again. Ba, ba, ba. Koivu. Coil. Cohen, and now we don't need to bring in Eck, because he's injured too. Spurgeon's back, so we do the whole maneuver again, but it is a little bit easier without having to pause to bring Eck in. So yeah, we definitely need a second line right winger. That's really what has become the priority. Because we're doing good. We're doing good. Um, don't want this guy to trip. So I think next episode we'll be looking to do that trade. And we get Ek back. This line's maneuver. So he's truly a 77. Oh, so he still just is a 77. He was a 78 at one point, but I mean, it fluctuates, I think, based on how you're doing. Gustav Olsen. Olsen. Here we go again. Oh, wow. Best Lines has it. Heck, now there. Which is interesting. Where's Stewart? It says he's in, but he's not. Oh, maybe he was... No, if he was... Whatever. 
That was weird. Usually he you know he would be scratched there. So I'm surprised. Oh, and there's Koivu injured. He'll be back January 1st, though. Estimated, anyway. So what do we do with here? I think we... I think we do this, honestly. See, like... He should be scrat unless oh is he playing defense for us? Holy crap! Why are you playing defense for us, dude? That makes sense now. Go to roster moves. Bring Murphy up. No, 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 no. I tried to edit, like, my lines, but... No, oh, this is stats. Granlin has 30 points. This is good. But... In 36 games, too. Um, He only has five goals. He's an assist machine. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want. But we don't want you. Let's just keep Murphy in. Let's just keep that as the standard. So we got four more games right here. So yeah, three, wait, no. Oh yeah, because Tampa was already in. So we have three games. Um, Should I win? Chichelio's going to be a no for me. Multiple players in eligible dress. I'm assuming one is Koivu. Now we gotta bring Ek back in. So I guess the only reason they were suggesting Ek was because Stewart was not in. Well, he was in, but he was covering for D. Okay, uh, we'll do this scouting thing, and then we're gonna just take a look at... Let's take a look at the standings and whatnot. So we have dropped in the standings. So we're going to need to do a trade. Uh, I mean, that doesn't directly correlate, but we do need that second line. Right winger, I do not like Tyler Ennis being there. Um, 39 games played. So we are we have two games in hand over the Blues. We have a game in hand over Dallas. Um. And, you know, we're not far back. We're only three points out with two games in hand over St. Louis, one game in hand over Dallas, so we are four points out. Um, so not really a horrible place. We're above Nashville. We're above Winnipeg, which is actually surprising. This is not flushing out anymore, how <laughs> you would have thought. Um, you can glance elsewhere. Florida making a big push there. Metropolitan. Islanders making a push. Check out that Pacific. Edmonton taking the lead. The two California teams. Well, San Jose dropped. Los Angeles was, like, on the cusp. Uh, Coyotes dropped. Golden Knights still where they were. Let's just look who's the best team in the league right now. The Penguins. Tampa. Bruins. Edmonton. Are your top four. We'll look at the player stats real quick here. Granlin, 32 points in 39 games. We got Parise. We got Koivu in 38 games with 29 points. Um, do not like the plus minus here. Really do not.
They can coil an Ek though. Heater Rider, doing okay. Oh, how is Tyler Ennis doing on that second line? How is the whole second line doing? Stall. Zucker's on that second line, not looking good in Ennis. So yeah, we definitely need to snag a winger. A right winger. And a left winger for the second line. So we don't need to sh be shooting for the stars for first liner. Um, so yeah, guys. I hope you liked my first video back in action. Um, drop a like. Subscribe. Comment. Don't. I'll be back with the uh, next episode. Yeah, we'll definitely be looking for a trade. Adi. Oh.